not working. There we go. I got it up now. Bell Shire Vestige. Here we go. Get inside the game. Bam. So the map is Belshire Vestige. The matchup is Terran versus Protoss. The player who is up 1-0 in this best of three, oh, win one I more. believe, is I-O-G-I -I Cantro. Yogi. And spawning as his opponent down one game. This could be his last. It is our blue Protoss, J. Rar. Now, of all the maps to choose, I find this one a particularly interesting choice. I mean, maybe something like Entombed Valley would be a little bit more... I'm not sure if it's part of the map pool, actually. I haven't seen it at all. No, it's not. But uh, the reason why I find it interesting for uh, Protoss is just the sheer distance between uh, your bases on this map uh, causes uh, all sorts of trouble and havoc should your opponent go medevac drop, which we've seen Cantro used to great effect in this tournament thus far. Um, uh, tearing apart Protoss and even tearing apart Zerg players in the past. So this is something he definitely employs and has under his uh, wing, under his repertoire. Uh, but still, j -Rar feeling confident on this map, choosing it and deciding, getting gateway. Let's see if it works for him. Oh, for sure. We can see. Stop looking at me so closely. It's freaking me out. It's romantic. Now, if we look at our Cantro again, he is going to be open up with, once again with that gas. So the 1 1 1 build, just so strong for Terran right now. It gives him access to all those text paths that they get. And still Reaper able to do pressure. Banshee. Reaper to Helen into Banshee, into Marine Tank. It's Anything is possible. Anything is possible. <laughs> You have to throw your arms out. Anything is possible. possible. And uh, I think the Widow Mines, I haven't seen them in the last match just because of the shortness of it, but I really feel that uh, Cantro does prefer it. And the clever play by Cantro, starting the uh, Supply Depot but not finishing it and having enough time, ample time, to then go finish it with his extra SCV. Um, a, uh, a Cybernetics Corp going down for our Protoss player. The key to all the tech. And now another Assimilator going down. Interesting. So we'll be getting some here. heavy tech. And the Reaper is en route. Typically, when you get a double gas here, you're going to be going for, of course, as you said, some sort of heavy tech. If you're going for an expansion build, double gas really isn't needed quite yet. Unless you're going to be opening some sort of Robo or Stargate play into an expansion. Uh, we see here the Reaper, you're right. Reaper is on its way. It's going to be popping out that Baron momentarily. And uh, we There's have nothing to defend though. This time there's no stalker and this I don't see any mother ship. Only a stalker being built. Now hopefully it will appear in time. This SCV is indeed, as you said, checking for a pylon, making sure he's not getting proxied. There's no cheese play and there's no forthcoming uh, aggression or danger. Uh, and the Reaper charging across the map with his boosters on his back, already passing the Zelnaga Tower, uh, will cause trouble if the stalker isn't in position to receive him. Zoom! <laughs> Zoom. There he goes, jumps up the ramp here into the pro space. He's actually going to meet a stalker and saying, you know what, I have two pistols, oh you only goodness. have a laser, and... Uh, Angel not watching that unit at all, Not maybe not realizing the devastation that could occur by just leaving his unit on micro. And I now... Told you, I told you so. Some proxy Stargate. This is something that Terrans uh, find a little bit difficult to deal with. Proxy Stargate into um, Oracles, into Pulsar Cannon, into QQ... Um, that is exactly what JWR wants to pull. That is the build he is trying. And you can see, Posse Stargate's very strong against a build like this. When you're teching up so much, you know, you're going from one tech, barracks tech, to factory tech, to Stargate tech, and you're not making that many units. Although there is a bunker at the front, that just a lot, well, the Void Ray doesn't charge up anymore. And yes, you know, a Void Ray coming out of this, but it looks like he is going to be going for the Void, uh, the Oracle instead. So going for a more harass-like play, instead of an all-in star Proxy Stargate play, as we see the expansion is coming down for JRA right now mm -hmm. so wants to make sure he has something to fall back on an economy and he's not just a one-trick pony the oracle he'll probably I've, i think we've, we've seen him in the past do this he produces one there's the second oracle he may go to as many as three will be interesting to see if he goes and harasses with one or he waits until more come in two oracles can just eviscerate uh scvs before your opponent has any chance to defend and this one marine is it looks like he's looking around perhaps there was a scan that we didn't notice uh, which revealed that our Protoss player has very little uh, production inside of his base, and uh, it must be making Cantrell one or er, 
Yeah, Kent, you'll wonder, where's your production going? And here come the Oracles. Really, yeah, you want to use that element of surprise for your Oracles. And here they go. They're going in. There goes the Pulsar Beam. It's activated, but SCVs are running for it. There are Marines there. They are going to be able to take that, but these Pulsar Beams do oh! 7 damage. Oh, loses one Oracle. But one Oracle, one Pax, wants revenge. They have to be able to take down all these Marines. They have running from it, but they do get inside the bunker, and that's going to be nice for our uh, Terran player here. They're actually stuck behind this tank. The Siege Tank's like, I want to get in the bunker too, but nope, you're not allowed in there. You are a fat tank. And fat tanks don't get to go inside bunkers. So he is, looks like he's going for Marine Tank Field. Might lose this Oracle cheaply, unfortunately does. Another Oracle is already produced, rallied into the mineral line once again, just as the other ones. And uh, it chases away all these SCVs. They scatter like frightened fish in a pond. And uh, the few that remain, the dullards that didn't get the memo, uh, remain and mine gas, but to no avail. And they will die for their... Uh, foolishness, and now this Oracle is just looking for something to kill. I mean, it's actually pretty interesting. Look at this Oracle here. He actually just took out four oh Marines. God. No problem that there. Pulsar beam is just there's so much damage to light uh, units over there. And really, there's nothing to the show. No anti air right oh now. Oh my god. All he needs to do is produce maybe a more Void oracles. Ray. More Oracles. More Oracles incoming. Is this going to spell the end of Cantrell? What can he do to defend against this? Oracle. Even if he produces Marines, he might not be able to produce them won't be able to take out number. these Oracles. The Oracles will be able to take out any sort of Marines that pop. They are in the bunker right oh now. Oh no, he has to be careful about this bunker play. The bunker will ensure their demise, but oh! it comes out oh! and both of them! This is a terrible situation for Cantor to be in, and now he's going to lose even more as of economy. Has not been mining for the past five or so. Uh, uh, sorry, but maybe the past uh, minute or two. And now two Marines in the bunker. It's all in, safety. all in. It's all in time. And this might actually be pretty powerful. There's nothing at the base of JRAR. This might be the right choice. Well, we can see that the warp gate technology is done. There's already four oh gates up. There is no way that this push is going to kill our Protoss player here. He does have a Banshee, though. I mean, the hook Oracles, man. So Imba. Imba, Imba, Oracle. Um, here comes Chubby, the push, Chubby. though, but really, it's looking very terrible for our Terran player here. These warp gates were done. There's five, six gates in production and a robo. One round of stalkers. I mean, I it's don't know. These be... cannons on the uh, tanks can do massive damage to armored units. If he's not careful, he might have a really bad time here. The stalkers are valiantly trying to yeah, kill as many as he needs. Uh, luckily, having enough probes to buffer the damage as well. All he needs to do is kill the uh, damage producing units like the tanks and the Banshee and those two Marines. It looks like they're going to be able to catch the tanks. No, unfortunately, they're micro badly. And now he does take out one Banshee and one tank. And Cantro has to GG. So JRAR.